Okay, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. It's August 15th of 2018. I think it's about 9 or 10 p.m. And uh, I'm using my Panasonic LX7 camera, the small compact camera. It's a really nice camera. I haven't used it in uh, quite a while, and I don't even remember now what I've, I mean, I've got it on movie mode, but uh, don't, don't know much else about the settings. Sky is clear. I can see a crescent moon and see a couple planets or whoops, about to fall off the sidewalk. I'm uh, still sick. I think I'm getting better, but I'm not sure. <laughs> this has been a been over a month. Uh, I was in the hospital for six days. Let's see. Now that's a planet up there. I I don't think it's going to show up in the video here, but yeah, you know, it does. It's a planet, but I don't know which one. But I do have an app on my cell phone that's in my pocket that would tell me which planet that is. This is the apartment complex that, uh, that we live in. Let me turn the camera around, maybe. The only thing is, I have no idea what you're seeing. This doesn't have an uh, articulating screen. Not what you're seeing. I'll find out when I look at the video. Uh, I'm not sure if I have, oh let's see, here we have maybe the, there is the crescent moon and then up in the left hand corner is a, another planet. down here. I have to be very careful. I make sure I don't fall off this curb. That's, I don't need that. Okay. There's Panasonic LX7 and I think they're up to the LX10 I believe. It's a really nice, you know, pocket size camera and uh, I really like it. I, I'm not sure with cameras what I should really do. I have uh, three Panasonic cameras. Uh, my latest one is the G7, which I haven't read up on, and uh, I've attempted to make several. I've, well, I've made some videos with it, but I need to really read the instructions. And. Uh, if you follow my videos, you know I don't like to read instructions or documentation or whatever. And it's when you've got an expensive item. <laughs> By the way, I'm staggering because I'm so weak, and I again I need to be uh, very careful that I don't fall down. Uh, back in the apartment, just moving from room to room, I sometimes. Not sure exactly. I just—it's like, I, whoops, like I like that. I just uh, lose momentum or become so weak that I have to grab onto the wall or something. Uh, this is the exit gate of the apartment complex here. Uh, fire station right here. Have you seen videos before of it? Number 23 fire station, I believe. I'm not sure if they're in there waiting for a call or not.
going through the hole in the fence. I guess this is one of my walking and talking videos. Couldn't hear the first part of that call, so I don't know if that was for this fire unit or not. Apparently not, or they'd be turning some lights on and moving in there. Whoops, I see him moving in there. But I'm not sure if they're moving to... Yep, they are, they're getting in the truck. So this is number 23 fire station in Fort Worth. Getting ready to go out on a call. Not sure how good the audio is, and I think the audio is working. I was actually a volunteer firefighter for a short period of time. I think I told that story. But uh, if I didn't, I'll tell the story sometime. Okay. I'm going to stop this video, which has been going seven minutes, and uh, go in and upload this to YouTube.